where is the atlas? Well, things were going really smoothly with my game up until I was like a couple of badges into phase four. And um, that's when I kind of got confused. I think it was because I wasn't really paying attention to the bottom right hand side of the screen. So if we have a look at this, we can see here that, oh, what's that see? Yeah, we want phase four, don't we? So if we look here, this next part is lit up. And because the game has been played really linear so far, that's how I kind of expected it to keep going. So what I did, I went out trying to find the atlas. And I couldn't. <laughs> so when you, with this uh, expedition, it's a really good idea to get lots and lots of resources all throughout the game. I actually spent quite a bit of time here mining. I've cut a lot of bits out of this video. Um, yeah, it's really, really important because you do need a lot of um, resources in this, in this expedition. And um, you need to stockpile different things in different systems that you enter because later on you'll need those things. That, that's what I found anyway. So now, continuing to look for the atlas. Well, we can see here it's got the expedition route. I'll uh, go over there because I, I really think I'm on the right path here, you know, at this stage. I did some more mining there and I got here and had a look at the map and um, I was sort of going right where's the atlas <laughs> and um, yeah I was thinking that's a bit strange that should be coming up so oh crikey <laughs> Sorry about that. There's a. I got out of that one okay. <laughs> I just managed that. So, anyway, having another look at the map, trying to find. I couldn't click on the Atlas station. So it was a little bit confusing. So I decided to go to the Space Anomaly. I, was, I, I thought that, you know, if I go there and talk to Polo, ask him where the Atlas is, that might help. So I got the fragments from Nada. I went to Polo and asked for the Atlas station. I love the, the Saturn ship I found earlier on in the game. I had to work out how to get the um, harmonic brain. Um, but anyway, manage that, but I will put that in another video. So I've gone back out. 
having a look there and yes the thing I'm noticing now because I know now is that down in the bottom corner here which I didn't notice when I was playing the game it actually tells me that I may have to do one of the other missions first but anyway, I'll try this again with Polo. I feel like a bit of a dork now that I've actually played it. <laughs> and, and, you know, now in retrospect, it's like, well, that was a bit vague. But anyway, see, it's right there, down on the bottom right-hand corner. So I kind of had this thought and I went, aha, okay, that is what I've got to do first. There was a bit of a mental struggle, but anyway. <laughs> so, I head back out, a bit more mining, which goes on for quite a while, but I've skipped it all. But it's a way away, so I thought I will get my good old mate Minotaur. I've called him Marvin. Anyway, so off we go. And I actually do some scanning of things because you get the nanites for that and you get money. And I also um, did some mining on this journey across here but I've left all of that out I'm actually really just a beginner at making these videos so it's a little bit daunting <laughs> a little bit daunting to do anyway here we are that I missed something at one of these monoliths but anyway we'll see what happens I haven't really started phase five yet I've been doing this instead anyway I mean making this video instead of playing the game that's what I meant by that is being invaded costumes on my skin that's nice isn't it <laughs> Ooh, creepy <laughs> I've actually been taking my time to play this expedition because it's just been awesome and it's too nice a job to rush really but um, I've played it faster than what I wanted to <laughs> problem. So now I've got to go over to this other point now. Here is it. I have to talk to it again. Yes, I have to talk to it again. Yes, that's where I've got to go. I don't want to forget Marvin. 
Come on. He's so brave. He hasn't got many upgrades yet in this game. He's sort of on very basic equipment. Now, the more money you can make, and the more nanites you can make, the better, right from the start. And um, what I did, I um, also found some uh, buried data and I, because you need that too, because you can, it's really helpful in the game to go and buy some blueprints at the Atlas. Oh, sorry, I've got Atlas on the brain now. <laughs> at the anomaly, yeah. It really, um, actually, it's just a habit. In all the times I've played expeditions, I've always tried to spend a lot of time in the first couple of phases just building up resources. It, it makes it easier later on. There's a beautiful um, sky here that we're flying through. I love this game. It's just so nice to play. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? I don't think I've checked any of the knowledge stones there. I'm kind of a bit overexcited, I think. Badges were linear. I did pop a couple though um, in other phases in the beginning by accident. Like the nanites was a good one. I got that in the first or second phase. And I did some nanite farming. <laughs> Yeah, 
in my lane going to put the beautiful retro looking crater. But um, yeah, time to. I might, I'll probably end up saving this game and playing on it so. Because I find that that way, if I do that, I can have more ships and, you know, experiment with all the different kinds of crafts and weapons and guns and I said that, didn't I? But, you know, I can just have so many items if I've got three game saves. Now, it's going to try and send me on this mission, right? So I've got to change that back to looking for the Atlas because um, otherwise I'm going to be, that is not going to be showing up. So here we go. Excellent. Got there. Fun making this video actually. I've never used a video to video editor properly before, so that was a challenge. Here we go. Present construct. He's looking pretty big, isn't he, these days? Wow. Forge seeds of their own. There we go. That is the. When I heard those recordings from the sound file, I thought it was going to be some really scary creature or something. So it was a bit of a relief, wasn't it? There we are, seed of life. Go. When you're in the atlas, you notice all these little lights on the floor. Really good idea to run over all of those because that adds to your knowledge. Um, yes, it teaches you the atlas language and it adds to your knowledge files. See, because I had so many resources from early in the game, it's made it really easy. I don't have to go back and collect things. Okay, so now it's back to the anomaly. Bring the Echo Seed to Nada. into knowing more about the law side of the game. There is just so much to doing this game. It's so huge, you know. Um, yes, it's very, very interesting and addictive. And the other thing is that I really love 
building because it's really fun. Now, I had to wait for 10 minutes, so I went back and built that base that just flickered in and out there because I was, you know, I wasn't just uh, standing around doing nothing for 10 minutes. So that was handy because I built that base down on one of the um, planets that I'm going to have to go to shortly. go. Now I've got to go and speak to the new friend. I'm dying to see this. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? I just have a feeling that this game is, even though it's been around since 2016, I really feel that it's just at its beginning. I don't know, could be wrong. But I've only been playing it this since um, halfway through last year. My eldest son got me into this <laughs> and now I'm addicted but anyway um, yes and just in that time I've seen how the game has improved and come along really well there's a few little things that they need to fix but I'll make some videos on that there we go lifeboat it's getting really interesting. I'm really looking forward to um, phase five. Some of these um, messages might be a bit fast to read because I've sped the film up so you could always pause it if you want to read them. I'm not going to read them out. Amplifier. Luckily, I've got everything I need, so I can just. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with that multi tool, as you can see. It has taken me quite a lot of playing to get to here uh, because I have tried to take my time and enjoy the game. <laughs> so I've had um, quite a good build up of uh, resources which is really important. It's a bit funny. So now 
locate another echo seed now this is another part that has confused some people that I've you know had conversations with um, because the first time you find the echo seed you use the um, scanner with F so you scan with it I, I'm playing on PC I've got no clue what it is on the other things I did try using a game pad but I don't like it as much for uh, glitch building as the keyboard but a lot of people are the opposite but anyway um, so I've just gone back to playing on PC so I really find it easier for me so you use the big scanner, I'll call it the big scanner, where is it? To find this first echo seed. Yeah, you see I've got a base on this planet. This is the base that I built when I had the 10 minutes to spare because I kind of had a feeling I would need to go back to dissonant planets for echo seed so I thought it would make it a bit easier. There we go. Back to the anomaly. Sacred place. <laughs> I've been there before. I know where it is. But it's in the space anomaly, so it's pretty cool. Easy to get to. Prime terminus. I think that's what it's called. In we go. Now, this this is a whole community um, thing of adding these seeds in here. So, wow! I think it said I didn't read it. I think it said ninety nine percent. Now, there's only like. 34% this time yesterday so it looks like that patch that's going to pop pretty soon there we go lost souls done I did go back to my planet and found lots of other lost souls but what you need to do echo seed sorry what you need to do is use the normal scanner C for finding those. Um, that you don't use the other scanner that you did the first time. That is where a lot of people have said, oh, I can't find any more, but you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope it was okay. I hope it's a bit embarrassing, but anyway, we'll see how it goes and please, um, yeah, that'd be awesome to see you again. Bye.